What is up guys, Jason here. Welcome back to the channel. Monica and I have been living in California for close to five years now. We are constantly praising California for the way that it treats its nurses, but one thing we haven't mentioned yet is that there are many things we absolutely hate about California. However, because we moved to Sacramento, California, in this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys the five reasons why we regret moving to Sacramento, California. Reason number one, the weather or the heat. Reason number two, air pollution. Reason number three, there are not a lot of things to do here in Sacramento and it can get pretty boring. Reason number four, homelessness. And reason number five, crime. Let me go into detail and explain exactly why we hate these five things. So for reason number one, the weather. I've mentioned in previous videos that it can get extremely hot here in Sacramento. During the summer months, it is not rare where you see the temperatures go over 100 degrees. We've often seen temperatures over 110 degrees and even though it is a dry heat, it can still feel so hot that you don't wanna leave your house during the summer months. Uh, so hot in here and you better expect that your energy bill is gonna be at least $200 per month during the summer months because you're gonna be leaving your AC on every single day. All right, reason number two, air pollution. You guys have probably heard on the news already that California is full of wildfires. Tonight, hellish fires ravaging the Sequoia National Forest. This car, surrounded by flames from the Windy Fire, only 9% contained, on the move and scorching more than 56,000 acres. About 400 miles north in Redding, California, another uncontained fiery scene. Fire officials saying at least 25 structures have burned so far. The wildfires here often happen at the end of the year. And during those months, there are times when you cannot even go outside because it is hard to breathe. Even if you're wearing an N95 mask, you are gonna have a hard time breathing out there. And the air can get so thick that you can't even see while you're driving even a couple of meters away. So if you have any breathing problems, asthma, and emphysema, COPD, anything like that, think twice about moving to the Sacramento area because you're gonna have a hard time breathing during the summer months if you don't stay indoors. All right, reason number three, there aren't many things to do here in Sacramento. You guys have probably heard before that if you live in Sacramento, you're only two hours away from everything else, and that's just it. You're only two hours away from everything because there's not much to do in Sacramento. I'm bored. I'm very bored. Many times when Monica and I are off from work, if we're not just driving around the neighborhoods, we are far away from Sacramento. This year alone, we traveled to Hawaii. We had an East Coast trip where we were gone for about two weeks. We've traveled to Paris. And now we're on our way to Canada. We do not like staying in Sacramento when we're off from work. Coming from New York City where there is an endless amount of things to do to Sacramento where we feel like there's almost nothing to do. Then we have reason number four, the one you guys always hear about on the news, the homelessness population. As you explore the streets of Sacramento, you'll see a city divided. Examples of wealth and poverty some are visible, homeless tents under overpasses and lined up on streets. People living in cars, including families with young kids. Sacramento, and not just Sacramento, the rest of California has a large homeless population. In LA alone, there are over 40,000 people experiencing homelessness. The LA Homeless Services Authority is struggling to keep up, it says, with the number of people also becoming homeless at the same time. Now, according to the agency, LA County does have more than 10% of the entire homeless population in the United States. About 568,000 people are experiencing homelessness in our country. 151,000 are in California. 
More than 66,000 in L.A. County, and those numbers have been so high for so long here. The city has more than 41,000. Here in Sacramento, the last time they conducted a homeless count was in 2019. And in 2019, there were about 5,600 homeless individuals living in the streets. But since the pandemic, these numbers are estimated to have doubled. And it's plainly obvious if you're driving through the streets of Sacramento. I fear that Sacramento is going to become another L.A. or San Francisco. Francisco. So if you're worried about the homeless population, stay away from Sacramento and instead move to the areas that are farther away from Sacramento where homelessness is almost non-existent. All right, number five, let's talk about crime. I briefly discussed this in my video, is Sacramento a good place to live in 2021? The crime index in Sacramento is a nine out of a hundred. That means that Sacramento is only safer than 9% of other U.S. cities. Think about that for a moment. 9% that means that 91% of all of the other cities in the U.S. are safer than Sacramento. And I did mention this in my previous video. We see and hear more crime here in Sacramento than we did when we lived in New York City. However, the type of crime that occurs here the most is not violent crime. It is property crime. You better believe that your things are going to get stolen if you do not secure them properly. Just last year, we had our surveillance camera that was about 10 feet away from the ground, ripped off the wall and stolen from our property. However, when you compare the violent crime in Sacramento to the rest of California, in Sacramento, 6.7 seven, nine violent acts are committed for every thousand residents in Sacramento. In California, that number is 4.4. But let's break down these violent crimes. The first one is murder. There are 0.08 murders for every resident in Sacramento, whereas there are 0.07 murders for every thousand resident in the United States. So the murder rate is almost identical to the rest of the U.S. Then if we look at the rate of rape, there are 0.24 rapes for every thousand residents in Sacramento compared to 0.38 rapes in the rest of the U.S. But as you can see in this chart, robberies and assaults are much larger here in Sacramento than they are in the rest of the U.S. In Sacramento, there is 1.68 robberies for every thousand residents. And in the U.S., there are 0.73. And in Sacramento, there are 4.79 assaults for every thousand residents. Whereas in the U.S., there are 2.78 assaults for every thousand residents. And I want to briefly compare Sacramento to other cities in California. Let's take Take a look at Oakland, for example. In Oakland, the crime index is a one. That means that Oakland is only safer than 1% of all other U.S. cities. Next, let's take a look at San Francisco. San Francisco is only 3% safer than the rest of all other U.S. cities. And when you compare it to L.A., LA is 13% safer than all other US cities. But out of all of the large cities in California, San Diego happens to be the safest with an index score of 23, or in other words, San Diego is 23% safer than all other cities in the US. All right guys, make sure you hit that like button. And if you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you're gonna like this video right here where I give you the reasons why you should move to California if you're a nurse.